Hello everybody, welcome to um Muda Belly Go Again Wiki Rose Channel Fun. Once again, this is my magical room. Okay, so I just read I just read on the Calgary and uh, Calgary and the website of 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 food disposal that we can recycle pizza boxes. We oh we can recycle uh, there we go. We can recycle pizza boxes. As long as they have a little bit of grease in it, we can recycle. If it has food scraps in it or leftover pizza slices or pizza leftover food, like say panago, say for example, um, say for example, how do you put it? Um, who are they again? A pizza 73, you have the leftover uh, veggie patterns and whatnot. Those can go into the compost. Uh, so, you know, or you can take it home and put it into your fridge if it's still good. You know, waste not whatnot, right? Why waste food? It's a wasteful society. So in this case, the pizza box is still good. It just has a little bit of grease, so they say they can recycle it. So if you can, oh, oh well, they have to be dry, though. So after you, after you scrub it down in the sink, uh, it's, if you scrub it down in the sink and try to scrub away all the food scraps, it's still very good to go. And, um, so we'll put this in the magical bag of magic. Also included, the, also included the magical bag of magic. It's the bag. It's the bottle of a of a of a toilet spray. And this guy here. And uh, apparently, there's a hole at the bottom of the bag. So yeah, it's starting to get it's starting to get all holy at the bottom. Hmm. That's the thing. Sometimes you, I think this did. I think this did have a plastic insert one time. Oh, don't throw away those plastic inserts. Sometimes these bags. Uh, mm. Sometimes these bags have plastic inserts. So what you can do is pick out the plastic insert, fold it in sideways. I, I learned that, but, but I think I think this, this thing once upon a time had that, but I couldn't figure out what to do with the plastic insert because it was, it was new. I was new to these. And now it's starting to fall apart at the bottom. So, it's a suspected sentimental value to me because it's a, it's a, it's one of my main shopping bags, but it's really big, see? But it's also the one that where I store most of my uniforms in for the Vancouver games a uh, long time ago, like maybe nine years ago. And what was it like nine years ago? I don't know. So let's see here. Oh, uh, here's something really special. Uh, if it has a food stuff, you know, leftover. Leftover food crap and grease in it, this goes in the garbage. So we're just throwing it in the garbage there. And uh, it says, see this has scrap in it, so this gets composted. This has a little bit of cheese crap on it, so we'll compost that. This one maybe, but it's just here. I don't care. Yeah, the crust, encrusted sounds don't sound very promising. Nope. It's promising. I must, I must have filled this up with water and scrubbed it really good. So yeah, if you can, uh, scrub it. Um, that's why I think that's why it folded too. So what you can do is uh, give it a good scrub in your sink and then just dry it. I usually throw it in there so my mom doesn't see it. My mom can say, oh, my so last time we KFC, uh, KFC has a little bit of grease on this, so this is okay. Recycle like that. But it's got wax in it, so this cannot this cannot be uh it cannot be composted. No, it cannot. So if it's got wax on it, it cannot be composted. So what you do is just squish this into a tiny into a tiny um. I'm looking at the screen. That's why that's why the computer's over here. But I'm looking at the screen over there. So um, so, so you just try to preserve as much space as possible. Because landfill, you want to get as much crap much crap in there as possible. You know, we try one last space. Bag is clean. There's no, there's no, uh. There's nothing to work with KFC though, because I'm switching to Popeyes. KFC has failed me for the last time. I was talking on the phone the other day with them, asking them what, when they're closing, and they were closing in an hour. So they said, oh, you're closed now. And I was saying, no, it's not. I said, no, it's not. The computer says, it's, it said, uh, 10 o'clock. He says, oh, yep, yep, it's closed. You know, some, some skag hag on the phone, you know, 
some skag hangs on the phone or some 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 Shirley customer service. So that's she's on it. So once again, this gets composted. Uh, there's also some pizza sauce in that one. Compost that guy. Ooh, what's that happen there? This has cheese on it, so I didn't do a good job scraping it. So, always do a good job scraping the crap off of it. And then uh, compost that. You compost it or recycle that. There's a compost pile, and there's a pile for uh, recyclables. Relatively clean. What was this? Double, double what? Double your little. This has some food scraps on it, so it's, uh, it has some ketchup on it, so that gets recycled. This is plastic. This is plastic, but it's too small for plastic. Uh, so this is tossed in there. This is considered garbage. Uh, however, you can put this into a plastic bag if it's, if it's a clear plastic or something like that. Put it, put it with your bag, all the plastic bags and stuff, and and then they'll get recycled. So once again, this is kind of like a kind of conserve as much space as possible. Twenty piece leather box. A few crumbs, so we're just vacuuming the crumbs later. So, got some cardboard, no plastics, no rubbers, no 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 rubbers. No plastics, no, uh, no weird shit. Oh, I remember what I did. I did, I did, I did skip the dishes one night with, with, with KFC. I was feeling kind of down and depressed. I'm going to try them again in time. Right. Well, I mean, I'm going to be back on uh, September 3rd or something, so I still have two more days of uh, binge junk food, junk food binging. So, okay, so this, is what, this, is the key, this is what came in. So what you can do is... Uh, Rip, rip this thing off. Shopping bags with off. Just rip off the. I'm not sure. Mm. Okay, so this is not this is not a rope. This is actually this is actually cardboard. So sometimes you see these fancy shopping bags have a have a rope like that, like a little rope they attach to, and. Um, so I'm assuming this is cardboard, this is like a, this is like twisted cardboard, so uh, we'll just compost that, I guess. Um, okay, so there's a lot of pretty stickers on it. Peel the stickers off. Again, uh, Same thing, though, same thing with, uh, with those uh, envelopes, with those windows, those little plastic, those little plastic screens. Those, uh, like, so you see, for example, a like government, a government, uh, or a bank, one from a bank or government. Uh, oh, jeez. He had a Big Mac or something. Ooh, <laughs> Has a little ketchup, kicked in ketchup, so that's kind of like that's kind of composted. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of bags, dang it. This is pure cardboard, it's, it's not too dirty, not dirty at all. I'm not sure what the hell this is cup holder. Sometimes it's fungus, sometimes it's actual cardboard. I'm not sure what the hell this material is, so just pretend that's uh, recyclable. Just again, stickers. Rip off the stickers. Put the stickers in the trash. Don't post that. That's the uh, electronics graveyard. That's what happens to the little, little electronics when they die. I'm gonna have to figure out how to recycle those ones these days. 
you were saying I mean, they gave you a calculator. A charity gave me a, a, a official stationary calculator of their of their of their particular brand. Uh, of the particular brand of. Uh, I'm not sure what what, what came with this, but it's now recyclable. See if this is dirty or not. Relatively clean. But this piece is too small. This, well, maybe. Yeah. Little scraps. Get a, get a box container. Little scraps go in here. That's a, that's a little hack you can do. This is a clean. That gets recycled. It's relatively clean. Just a little bit of grease on it. So. Yeah, so what I did is I just ran it under the sink, took the brush, took the, took the dishes brush and just gave it a good, good swipe down. And then what you do is just dry it off and then it becomes uh, recyclable. Because they like, somehow they like to recycle it even though when it's dry. But I don't know why. I mean, they all, they all, this all converts to a big, big giant wall of paper, paper mache and you just squeeze it out. Just the paper. Oh, well, this is again more KFC, but then KFC is being boycotted for their rudeness and going to Popeye. So this says there's a recycling symbol on it. Uh, I'm going to look up the symbol, but it's going to say six usually. Recycling level, recycling level five. So we're going to look up recycling level five and see if that's recyclable. If not, then I'll just toss it. But usually five and six are recyclable here. It's got to make sure it's very, very clean. The key word is clean. So sometimes the machines get too, it's too small for the machine and it starts slipping through the cracks of the conveyor belt. So, um, Especially little bottle caps too, so I, I, talk, I was taught that uh, it has food in it, so a little scraps of food in it, so I was taught that, I found, I learned of a life hack, uh, whoa, what the hell, a little bit of grease, see if you can rub your finger, if you can, see if you can try to, try to rub your finger now underneath the cheese there and whatever, and take on, take on crab soup and just peel out of it. I must have cleaned that, I must have cleaned him up. I must have cleaned this guy up, and then just pull yeah, that a little bit up later. Okay. And that's that. Now I just gotta do some studying, and my afternoon should be complete. Should be completed. Uh, okay. That's all recyclable material, that's really big fat bag there. Compared to composting, so we we'll decided to dump it into there and figure out what we can do with this uh, stray six. And this, I this used to be part of the uh, bath, the, the uh, my mom's bathroom over there. This the on the back the backsplash of it, and uh, it finally broke off after years after the years of the the, the adhesive must have dried off over the years, at least uh, twenty years of uh, abuse and. Um, well, we'll keep it for her. I also also broke the uh, old handle for her uh, for her broom. I tried to sweep away some dust, some some some, some snow, leftover residual snow that I shoved in, couldn't shove away, and it just snapped. So everything I seem to touch turns to break, breaks tends to break. So uh, that's that's not good. That's not good at all. And uh, I like I like cleaning up in here because it gets uh, gets uh, less cluttery. So let's remove some of this clutter. Turn on the heater. Um, study away and uh, and continue, continue, uh, continue. Um, I put away all the clothes already for my. I did, I did a lot of laundry already, so I got I put those away. Um, but I guess the next task here will be just to vacuum the floor up uh, a little bit, a little bit, and then and vacuum the floor one more time when my, when my mom comes in. Uh, and I, like I said, I fixed the I fixed the vacuum cleaner for uh, I fixed the power head of the. Um, you saw that video where I fixed the uh, power head of the uh, I tuned up the power head of the uh, of the uh, Dyson, so it's giving it some extra life, extra lives. So the the the, 
the beater bar can spin around. So you just, all you just need is a number 15 to take it apart mostly, but the beater bar itself needs a number 10 uh, 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 hex or no, a star screw or whatever it is. What? Uh, star screw, I think it was. And uh, I don't know why they use a star screw, maybe. So, okay. Let's just think. So, Namaste. Nam, I'm a pad me hum. 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 This is the extent of my empire. The my bedroom, my bedroom there, and this room here. So, you see my brother's room. Uh, I'll extend it, extend it a little bit, but then eventually I got to move out. And once I save up enough money and buy a place in my house of my room, my own. Then I'm going to have a basement, a uh, basement office, and uh, <coughs> uh area for plants maybe, sunlight for plants, and uh, it's winter now, so, so I'll cut the whole winter wonderland sky out there, and maybe a uh, it's been a while, it's been a while. This carpet is definitely going to get removed, replaced when I move out, so. So I try, try to keep, keep the carpet as long, uh, as livable as possible. Uh, so what, this red bag here is a fun bag my wife gave me, and another fun bag my wife gave me. The unveiling will be out very soon. So there's candies and stuff in there as well, so. Some of my wife's fun bags and some uh, scarves and stuff in here. It's another unveiling episode. And um, surprise, surprise bag, or surprise box. Some letters from in two letters from inmates, new inmates, uh, Angel Candy Capanellas. Um, and this dude here is on his way out. He's a uh, Stefan Stefan Mongiera. He's um he has instructions for a uh, he has instructions for um a uh I'll kind of read up uh, because he's a nice guy, he's, he, 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 he he has um he's part of a breaking chains uh, program. Um This is a this is a this is a this is a entrance level uh, program where 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 Baking Chain School of Arts, where he's um where he's being uh this is his, this is his plans for life. He plans he he, he learned about Bud Buddhism, and I think his letters in here somewhere. So this 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 is his business plan for his organization. What's a non-profit a non-profit organization where he seeks to help uh he seeks to help um uh youth as well. And this is a symbol. Hopefully he'll allow me to use the symbol as a tattoo, part of my tattoo. Uh, oh. That's what I did for homework last night. Um, okay, it was part of the medicine wheel class. Or sacred food class. These are my sacred food notes. This is part of my journals as well. My journals have broken. I labeled them all, lectures and stuff, and how to think like an indig indigenous person in regards to applying the uh, sacred hoop, the ever, the ever cyclical time sacred hoop uh, that represents our timeline. And I've done some episodes where I showed you basically a basic diorama of, on, on, on the glass, shower glass of what the it is. So, so this is going to go to school, and this is what I've been working on last night. I imagine so. This is his. This is his homework. It's the fans' homework. This is my homework. So this is a symbol I drew of myself. It's upside down. And uh, in my imaginary country, the assignment was um, the assignment was uh, make a, your own power spiritual shield. So I'm trying to make it kind of like this. Uh, to my compost down there. So what happens is uh, this is my imaginary country. The flag of my imaginary country, blue is heaven, agnosticism in heaven, and stuff like that. And this is, this represents peace, 
I that I know I know I'm not like at war with uh, uh, religious people. I just want to coexist. Uh, maybe I think I'm agnosticism, so I have a I have an open mind still. Um, Buddhism is. is Buddhism is not really a religion. It's more like a philosophy based on the mind. It's a, it's a mind. It's a, it's a up here kind of based spirituality or philosophy where uh, consciousness. It's a consciousness building of philosophy, where um, the idea of you live many many lifetimes. Some some people throw in the whole karma debt and stuff, but the original Buddhism didn't have that. The original main canon is that you try to break free from this. Uh, Matrix. It's like very much like a Matrix film, and Morpheus and all the other leaders of uh, crew members of the Nebuchadnezzar hover ship. They have the mag maglev hover ship. They have there are Buddhasavas trying to rescue Neo. Neo Neo's still stuck in the Matrix, and then eventually you rescue Neo, and Neo goes into fight the computer, uh, fight your computer, uh, and that's, that's that's the false world. And, and that's basically what Buddhism is. That we are stuck in the cyclical. Um, it's stuck, but we live in a cyclical, cyclical kind of uh, uh, artificial reality, AI reality, like a VR, uh, you know, and uh, we're trying to break ourselves free, but also trying to exp express, my take on this, say we're trying to express uh, different kind of views of life, like in this case I decided to be Buddha myself, <laughs> be a Buddha looking dude, uh, my, 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 my Buddha belly persona, um, based on my based on that funny photograph. Actually, that's not a best. He's a Buddhist monk, but he's not Buddha. Um, or second Buddha. He's called Hotai, and Hotai, and he's a Japanese uh, Buddhist monk that's uh, a very generous man who who's personified as the god of wealth or something in Korean Korean Shintoism. So that's the thing about Buddhism. A lot of times, when it, as as it travels travel through the world, many uh, different uh, concepts that the the people they they touch, especially the Chinese. Have inserted their own kind of take on it. The Tibet depends as well. Uh, the the depends basically settled in the Sichuan province, Yunnan province, Sichuan, Yunnan, Yunnan, not Hunan, Yunnan and, and Sichuan, and the mountain regions. And they kind of like went um, northern, northern way, northern way towards Mongolia, and then these are the, this is this is the extent of this, the Tibetan kind of home world. About and then the Mongo, uh, so uh, and that's how Genghis Khan was able to learn about uh, different uh, about the, about, about the uh, Buddhists and stuff. So and I was able to incorporate Buddhist ideas into the the, the, the Mongolian flag is is, is contains uh, Chinese that they the the I Ching uh, Yin and Yang symbol, the Buddhist some kind of Buddhist emblem and some kind of other emblem. Uh, Islam too. Many many Mongolians are Islamic, so this, they try to create a world that's like a multi-ethnic. And especially that's a very important thing when you're when, for the Mongol Empire itself. It had lots of lots of multiple different different ethnicities that had to get along, right? Just just recognize that the that the the, the Khans are the lords of the land at the, for the time. So basically, my emblem is that uh, oh, it's Buddhism. So yeah, that's that's his emblem. So maybe I, that, that, that's his symbol, and this is my symbol here. So basically, what it represents is this: this red here, and it's because I'm a socialist. I I had socialist leanings back when I was younger, especially when I was in my twenties. So that kind of represented my, my my time. I still am a very much socialist person. Uh, I I'm an NDP voter myself. So, but also the red represents a lot of fighting I had to do to to when I was younger. I had to fight myself. I had to fight. Defend myself a lot of times against bullies and the scouts, bullies in uh, in Edmonton. Hell, even as a young adult, I had to defend myself against street thugs uh, here in Calgary. Uh, it's any urban city. Uh, Calgary's uh, crime is very low, so that's good. But sometimes street thugs do, do exist. And as a social worker now, as, as as a human service dude, human servant, I understand that because I was there also. I I grew up in such a such a such an environment, you know. I had to defend myself against uh, in Edmonton. Uh, those uh, I lived in a technical technical industrial city in our neighborhood Kirkness, and well, at Kirkness, I think recently, in the, during during the year of uh, violence, the years of violence uh, of the early 20, 21st century, um, the early two thousands in Edmonton, they they endured. I could say enjoyed, but endured a uh, spate of crimes, a crime wave, and became the murder capital of Canada, and. 
and then and Kirkus alone had, had, had a murder suicide with a wa- husband and wife from India. Uh, had a, a Vietnamese gangster got shot in those condos behind the 7 Eleven we used to hang out in. The 7-11, it used to be like an empty field, but then they built a condo, set of condos there. So some 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 dude got shot there, and of course he had he had uh, he had problems with with, with uh, the drug industry. So so that's 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 one thing about social uh, small, well, human services is that you're supposed to provide the supports so that people don't have to resort to these crimes to to to, to survive. It's not to say that uh, you know the thug life shows the whole saying is the thug life. I didn't choose a thug life. A thug life chose me, or la la vida loca, uh, la vida loca. Not the Ricky Martin one, but the actually be la vida loca that Latinos live in. That this is this all cyclical violence and poverty. And I, I'm Chinese. Uh, I'm, I'm a Hongi myself. I'm not one of those rich Hongis. I'm one of those uh, working class Hongis as well. So, uh, living in living in the uh, characters. Um, it was very, it was very uh, competitive because we you know we all we all like immigrant kids and we're all trying to move up in life. And because I was uh, the runt, or I, you know, I was the the weirdo. It's pretty much a body I had back then as well, except I was more cuter. Um, uh, they had this, they had this problem. I mean, I had to, I had to defend myself, you know. And that's what we represent, represent a lot of bloody noses, a lot of cut lips, a lot of uh, bruises. Them or me, both of us. I, uh, I had my fair share of a, like this this latest this middle finger here. Uh, see, as you can see, it's crooked. This is because I, I punched a uh, a British dude in the in the nose. He's like, he was crazy though. I mean, I was just getting off work. It was during during in Hong Kong. So I was just getting off work, just trying to uh, trying to sweat my sweat on over and my in my foot my, my late thirties body. My my tired late thirties body is much more tired. More, Think that I, I was younger. That's crazy. It's, 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 it's insane. But uh, I mean, I was much more thinner myself. But I'm still pretty much the same body shape. And I was just trying to lumber over, water chart over to uh, Lurch. Uh, yeah, Lurch water all over to my apartment, uh, my aircon apartment, <laughs> and just enjoy enjoy a, a nice laptop night of a. Uh, Watching my little ponies actually is <laughs> the is the only uh, watching my little ponies on YouTube and getting ready for volunteering at a church and a church helped me uh, help set me up with a uh, there's a church there who helped help set me up with uh, a getting an apartment and oh my god they then they then they backstabbed me by not I was going to donate money I was asking to donate money to the church here saying that you know I have money I want to thank she show my appreciation by helping your church grow, and then they ignored me on Facebook, you know, they ignored my many different hails, so I'm assuming that uh, they don't want to speak to me, because, uh, uh, I mean, that kind of hurt, so, uh, like I said, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, you have to, I, I learned how to just resiliently say, fuck this, it hurts, but then just move on eventually, uh, this little C here, this little C, uh, here, I'll, I'll get closer, so C is supposed to be like a crude drawing of this Calgary Flames C, uh, because Calgary Flames. I, I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of the team. Uh, this shirt's falling apart. Actually, it's got a little bit of a, a holes there. I have to sew this up. But other than that, the sign's okay. But this shirt's getting kind of old. It's like at least it's showing its age. It's washing age. Uh, this this white strip here. This is the flag of my imaginary world called Crazy Land. Uh, I can't say its real name. But crazy land will have to do because it's also another name for this country. Uh, green represents my eco, my love for ecology. Also, my time and space, my uh, this time and space in my body is a phys- all the physical manifestations of a uh, of a uh, of my world. The shower show, this recycling, this water depots, and all those other DIY projects is is is, is a reflection of that. Or volunteering, or letters, let, like actual letters to my to this disguise here, <coughs> or that's that's my world. That's my world view, and everything you do in your world is the green. It's the green down here. The S represents uh, it's supposed to be an original. Well, I guess it's supposed to be a it's like a silver silver snake from Harry Potter, or uh, but at the time I thought it was being original. This is just the original. The original triangle came in, and like I said, an imaginary world where I believed in uh, police were just just pounding on me all the time. Uh, uh, even Asian ones, especially Vietnamese ones, uh, especially was it Oscar Nam? 
mom, my Oscar mom kept the, kept the fucking around with my head, especially in high school. Uh, I don't know what his problem was. I didn't even interact with him whatsoever. Oh, Tony Law, Tony Law. I can be Tony Law kept on calling me retarded. I didn't call him. I didn't call him anything. You know, it's because I did have a learning disability. It's because I am a putz. But that's okay. I'm a funny guy now. I'm a funny putz. Still hurts, but nah, but that's life, right? Got to got to roll for punches, or in this case, punching out a British dude. And like I said, I think my I think this middle finger attached to his jaw. I don't know. I was just I was just I was just, mad. I was just going like that. You know, just like, like don't attack me, man. Just doing just basically reing, doing the re attack. The the re <laughs> don't attack me. I just wanna. I just. Basically, that's what I said. I, said basically, I didn't say re. Well, I did make an e sound. Thinking, like, ah, don't attack me. I'm just wanting to go home. What's your problem? You know? I don't know what his problem was. I guess along the main path <coughs> of Yong Shen Wan, uh, old village, uh, you can also go up the old, up to, up to, up to the new village, the, the new, the new a annex of the village. Yong Shen Wan, and I was just walking my way. <coughs> I was walking my way to the shop, old, old village, another, another suburb of, uh, this village. See, in Chinese villages, they're all like, here, you pretend my fist is the main village, okay? This is my, and all my little fingers, and all my little fingers are like on the different satellite little towns and villages you can just walk to like in 15 minutes. Then Those are like villages. But back then, there was no cars, especially there's no cars on Lama Island because they want to make sure it's uh, quaint. They want to try to keep its, its Asian quaintness, um, Japanese Asian quaintness kind of small village kind of Walking area, and it's really cool. The only vehicles allowed on the island are uh, utility vehicles run by the power company, which is being phased out. They're phasing out the coal plant there. So that's good. I don't know what they're gonna do in replace. Uh, maybe put a garbage plant, burn off, burn garbage, and and make sure, um, or maybe a methane plant. Maybe uh, boom, the whole neighborhood goes. The whole the whole Shapu village goes 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 a big, big giant. Uh, Panda boom, panda panda belly boom. Uh, okay, so basically, so basically, there's like this bar, like a really really old classical Chinese uh, farmhouse. You know, the stucco walls, the straw. This is just like you see in the Nam the Nam War movies, except those are like bad, more, more more bamboo. But this was actually stucco on the bamboo, I guess. They had like like actual clay, actual classical Chinese building, Hong Kong Hongi building, and I think they tore it down now. Uh, but it's called the a bar owner turned into an English kind of a pub, a sports pub, especially a rugby pub, pub, pub because there was a bunch of English dudes, blokes there, the Aussie blokes that are into rugby and whatnot. And uh, uh, so one of them, one of them was famous of getting really, really hammered and doing stupid shit. And um, I don't know, this really big grunty looking dude that looks, you know, like this big grunty dude with a square head. It looks like yeah. I don't know. What, I don't know how to explain what he looks like. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I know he's a he had a fuzzy like hair, like I, I, like, like 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 this British like a bro like a like a British Afro fro bro fro or something, a uh, Brit fro. I don't know. And he kept. I don't know for some reason. I was just walking home, and I I think. I don't know. He just he attacked everybody, and then I just happened to turn around the corner and say, "Re, I just want to go home, re." And then just basically did the slappy, like the with the crazy, <laughs> crazy ass, floppy, floppy hand, floppy hand, uh, floppy hand window move. Because I'm like in my late thirties, I'm no longer the, uh, the longer the pugilist, the fisticuff, the pugil, the pugilist I was. And so basically, yeah, uh, basically. <laughs> I must have punched him in the nose or something and broke my middle finger on him, but I, I, he was pretty much gooed up, and I don't know why. And then next thing I know, I, I'm on the I'm on the ferry. In the morning time, I'm on the ferry to work, and he's on the ferry to his work, uh, some 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 office tower, or something uh, on close Cloister Street, maybe. I guess what I heard. And yeah, he he his his his, his nose is pretty pretty purple and stuff, and his upper lip was like. Pretty like like a bee stung, so and he kept on going like that with a, with a, with a mm, depressed like kind of like a, I don't see you kind of face when I got on. I'm going, oh you attacked me first, buddy. I mean I'm just all, all he was is just trying to grab my backpack full of, full of uh, grab backpack full of I'd rather not say the pot, 
And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's on the island, you can you can find some Rasta hippie dudes because it's hippie hippie Rasta island on on Nama. But it's also a family friendly place. You gotta look be very careful who you talk to there. Um, so I found found this guy of a of a of a he had a fake Harry he had a fake Bob Marley dreadlock hat on and so I went to I went after him and said, "Do you have any pie?" He said, "No, I'm a soccer I'm a soccer coach at the high school." Or you know, I'm a, I'm a gym coach at the, at the high school. I teach, I teach soccer to the kids. You know, like he teaches soccer to the local kids. And but well, he, he he introduced me to this um to this like bald headed like vegan monk dude. Was also like a he, like he's not exactly a, a Buddhist monk, but he's pretty much a vegan with a the the hair the head like the, like the uh, bullet shaped head kind of thing, like the bullet shaped head, and he's very extremely skinny. So he he. He was very positive. Like I mean, lots of like I said, Lama Island attracts a whole bunch of hippies, the hipsters to the island. Uh, low rent, lots of families too. So he said that uh, he explained to me because I was new that he said that that, that uh, he doesn't really that they, they have to really be in the community because and he says I'm new, so you know, they don't they don't they don't, they don't really deal out in the open. Uh, and, and pot is very illegal still in uh, in, 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 China, in Hong Kong, given the nature of the opiate opiate crisis in the past, the opium wars and what whatnot. So he said that you know because pot is very very taboo in Hong Kong, you know you have to actually go to a rave or something, or go to a hippie rave and uh, and get get your get your narcotics there. But unless you're like really really in the deep in the underworld, uh, they don't really do pot drugs in Hong Kong. Uh, unless you're really into a, like a, you, unless you're a coked up businessman, or, or they usually the triads usually just make movies nowadays just to. Uh, just make porn and movies, um, which is very, very controlled in Hong Kong and in in Hong in Japan as well. Uh, lots of censorship, lots of you they, know they, they can't show. You have to blur out the uh, you have to, for example, blur out the, the body parts and stuff, which is good too. You know, I mean, you don't really want kids uh, kids to see that kind of thing. Um, and uh, I, I myself do like my porn. Uh, I am human. Uh, so yeah, this is basically just my personal world. The slit of the snake is representing representing my year, the year of the snake, uh, the year of the snake, and uh, I was born in 2007, uh, 1977. So that means be 42, 43 this year. Ugh. Two more years to go before I'm ready to fade years to launch, right? To 45. Uh, well, that's because my dad was a drunk and he he left the house, so I had very little resources. But he was a real jerk. I mean. Uh, yeah, I had a little patience because of my 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 my, my disability, and uh, I don't know. He's pretty much an Asian dad, and I try I try to do my best with, with what little I had. And as I said, I had to. He didn't. No one sees this part of me, you know. No one sees the uh, be part where I have to defend myself as a youngster, as a young young adult. It's it's, it's cool now that I'm a, now that I'm an older adult. People see people pretty much ignore me. But when I was younger, I don't know for some reason. A lot of other fellow alpha males kept on kept on trying to beat the crap out of me for no reason. I I go to a bar, you know, like uh, lots of people try to shank me. or try, or I'm on the sea train, or especially if I live in Edmonton, I could definitely see this happening. But in Calgary, at least I had still, there was somewhat of a law and order that sat in, in this place in around the nineties and around the late early two thousands, the late nineties and two thousands. But I was bullied a lot at work. I mean, I'm, I'm being polite and stuff. I'm, don't, I'm, 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 and I'm very much taking advantage of a lot because uh, I, I, I give. I, you know, they, they, they realize that I have a good heart and I'm a good, kind-hearted person. And people who are in survival mode want to do that. They want to. They want to live. So they, they, they want to survive another day. Um, uh, they want to survive another day, or they want to survive another. Uh, Another, another, uh, yeah, you want to survive another day, they want to survive another, uh, another level of education so they can perhaps attain some, some of their dreams. And a lot of my team, a lot of my dreams, uh, a lot of my goals ha are much too late, uh, but a lot of other goals, uh, this is what makes me good. This is what makes me, uh, gives me my, gives me my resilience to, to talk to, to power through this all this shit, this, uh, all this nonsensical bullshit is that, um, at least I didn't get some of it. I, I but I got most. I got most of it, or I got a fair chunk of it, and I'm happy with that. Um, that's that's my karmic lesson that I have to learn in life uh, by my uh, 
uh, you can't get it all. But if you work hard towards it and you try to work hard to, 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 to be productive so that others can, others can uh, try to achieve it, uh, that's a good thing too. Uh, see, in my case, I'm very ecologically sound. I'm, I'm just recycling all my crap here. Uh, I'm, I'm on all the rooms that's cluttered. The, the room is very much empty space, except you know, once, 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 I, once, I go to move, once I remove that, and it's pretty much a big empty space. It helps uh, declutter my mind. It helps uh, bring the world to me, bring the world to this green stuff here. And like I said, the heavens, the surfaces, the gnosis system, the heavens, uh, blood and, and guts, fighting for, cake, for, fighting for crazy land. Slytherin S represents. Uh, I call it the. Uh, I call it the original. Um, the, I had this imaginary team that I was. You know that Tupac song is me against the world. Well, it's pretty much like that for for much of my life. Uh, until I was able to finally get. A, um, I invested a lot of my youth volunteering, uh, especially for hand for 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 children who are people who have a, who have uh, disabilities. Uh, I also volunteered for. Um, uh, homeless as well, and uh, once I get my car going again, I'm kind of go to that. I'm gonna try to figure out how to how to, the safest way because there's more drivers out there, and my reflexes must have, must have tired off after the years and years of non driving. So the driving muscles are not there anymore. So I have to re retake the driving class. But I'm going to plan to get a truck. Uh, like my uncle had a really mini truck. Not a had a truck. But it's like it's like a small uh, it was a small Honda truck, but it wasn't like a really big one. It was like a the truck probably ran. If you, if this is the this is the street. The truck probably went up. The truck probably goes up to a little bit higher than the uh, a little bit just higher than the uh, the light the light switch there. And it went like from here, from that from here to here. It's probably the, the length of the truck. So it's like a really mini truck. So those are those. Are, I don't. I can't really drive the newer cars these days because one they look like big big, big fat turtles, so just for safety reasons. And I just make it more wider so you don't like tip over and whatnot. Again, for safety reasons. But those are hard to see actually, so uh, I have to keep keep on using the '90s, early 2000s models, uh, so I can actually see up out 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 the thing or get a hatchback, get a tiny hatchback. I like I like things that are small actually. I don't like large things. As I'm agoraphobic. I like I like my enclosed spaces. So I was the same truck, and uh, you know I, I plan to go to the uh, plan to go back to the mustard seed, and that's my volunteering world too. Again, that's the green stuff here, trying to make the world ecologically sound, economically sound. I go on weird adventures to try and volunteer and rebuild things. Uh, this is the uh, this vest is from the 2010 Olympics, uh, 2010 Paralympics of of Van Rock Paralympics. That bag right there is also from the Paralympics. That's, that's why I brought this. Brought this to the hostel. This and my other uniforms are in the uh, are in the closet. Uh, you know, it's, this is pretty much my world. Uh, I volunteer a lot. This is this has been these past two years volunteering for gay rights and you know LGBTQ rights and uh, all my buttons there and uh, give me a lanyard over there. So all these different things from McKinsey's uh, healing camp, which is a protest camp, and indigenous gathering space. I'm going to volunteer with them again. Uh, Every child matters. Oh my, my! This is actually very rare because my, my classmate made these for free. I'm going to try and uh, continue her thing. Uh, Bull Valley College uh, pin from the from the Inikukan. We made this also we made these triangles ourselves too uh, uh, to represent gay. Persecuted gay gay people and uh, gay men in uh, in uh, in uh, in Germany. This is a red shirt, red uh, to represent missing and indigenous women who have been murdered over the past thirty years along the Highway of Tears, Alaska BC Highway, especially in particular, uh, but anywhere anywhere they've been murdered, especially in Edmonton, especially in that old neighborhood I went to. That's one of the murders. Uh, she was a prostitute, and her body was found in a near uh, near the old uh, near the old. It's called Dead Man's Woods. As as, as kids, we call Dead Man's Woods because it's spooky in the eighties, and we're we're, we're you know um, uh, Steven Spielberg kind of era. It was all magical in eighties kids. Uh, actually, we didn't let like we didn't let that down. We had all we had those uh we had those crazy bikes with the with the uh, with the uh, 
with a little, with a little, uh, with a little, uh, card in it to make the tiki sound, make the trippy tiki sound, and, um, you know, we had the crazy, I had a rat tail, actually, when I was a kid, it like, can be which actually suited me well because it was a it was, it was, it was like some kind of a martial arts suite at least you know one of those stereotypical martial arts kids or something. It was very very popular in the eighties, especially with the Asians. So as I was saying, babbling on and on. Uh, this is this is my world. This is his world. So I, I'm just going for some old notes there. And oh shit, I dropped this. I dropped this world there. I sincerely hope that I, I enjoy a nice relationship with this Stefan person. And uh, perhaps I will donate. I don't have much money. But I can perhaps donate to, to, to help him uh, spread his um, spread his plans. He's trying to build a monastery or something. Some kind of non-profit monastery to help uh, homeless young youngsters. Uh, so he uses his letter here. With... Merta? Merta. So we want to settle international layers of letters of way more than average amount we have filled with money voucher form. So I'll donate maybe 50 bucks to him. His particular, like I said, his particular, his particular, uh, this particular prison doesn't allow for international. He's almost out in a few years. Uh, he's pretty much pretty much on his way out. He may uh, he, he's made parole. Uh, he's able to uh, be a Buddhist and stuff. Bloomington, Illinois. I don't know. I write to uh, see. I uh, first of all I like welcoming you to White Lotus. The purpose of this guide is to get you to speed on what we're all about. I'll be detailing a brief overview of our organization, now how we're structured, and what we're looking for. It'll also include informer, informative and insightful pieces of our business plans, such as executive summary, organization objectives, and various analysis. We hope that the guide serves its purpose and you'll come to the ex of this exercise of a better understanding of renewing sense of mission and alignments of our own. Wow. His English skills are way better than mine. Uh, well, I try to try to whenever I write my notes. I put this guy, I put this guy also has a has a shitload of notes, has a buttload of notes, uh, has a huge archive uh, archive. I'm gonna sound like him now. Archive of notes. This like, I think I have a huge archive of my study notes. They're in the back there. Uh, all my study notes. If it's uh, basically, I have the burn box there that burns old materials. So I can compost the ashes, I guess. Uh, this is definitely a keeper. I'm definitely going to try to make this into a tattoo. Well, I'll try to make it look more nicer. This is just a crude drawing of a crude pictogram of it. Uh, see, this is the angry, look, angry looking snake here. I didn't really want to. I really want to emphasize this. That <laughs> I actually saw. I actually saw microscopic creatures. I actually like that. I think they're maggots. And there's just, there's just two angry eyes and just a bunch of fangs. Or what's it, the microscopic creature of a larvae or something that actually looks like that. There's two fangs. And the backsplash, the field of a, it's a, the back, the back field is a, uh, Calgary Flame sign again, like I said. Also, that rep represents, uh, sea land, crazy land. So I'm just going to put this here on my, my, my binders for, for homework, to do remember myself that it's a homework. To be headed in, and uh, uh, I would try to read. Well, I'm not supposed to. These are private thoughts, actually. But I'll get his permission. I'll get his permission to read it. But this is the Go Go King Goes to School. Um, that's all I was doing last night. Uh, also, writing some journals. Basically, I just grab these papers and stuff, these loosely papers, read the whole text, and just uh, trans re retranscribe it into my own personal language so I can personally understand. And this helps me personally understand, but it, it takes a lot of time to do that. So, uh, and this particular textbook, this particular Abbey Normal, Abbey Normal textbook, is really, really hard to read. It's uh, its English skills are very poorly vernacular, uh, vernacular. So, 
Yeah. Okay, enough, uh, enough procrastinating. This is uh, the official start of reading week. I tried to co come in earlier. I tried to come in earlier and get all these candles set up and stuff so I can show myself studying. Maybe I'll put the candles on that little... That's my that's my charger station, by the way. Uh, my mom has, has set me up a charger station. I'm going to turn on the heater, put away the rest of my clothes, and vacuum maybe, maybe, maybe vacuum tomorrow. I was supposed to go and watch a movie yesterday, tomorrow, but uh, I remember that I had to... I had to uh, Go to church. I had to go to uh, RCA again. Like I missed last RCA. I had to go this this time. Uh, and uh, let's try to smoke the syringe. Uh, I don't know. If this, oh, this is a pizza holder. Syringe. This is one of the, This is actually came as a pizza holder. I don't know what the fuck out. There's a lots of weird plastic shit that comes in before your food packaging, right? Plastic items and plastic plastic uh, structures and stuff. And, this tower looking dude, so okay, so uh, we'll just continue to uh, team kill and uh, I, I, I team killed uh, I've been team killing my own teammates on StarCraft for the last few games, so I've been punished pun you know, when you start losing, you've been punished for your your ranking goes down, I guess, or your your, your game matching goes down, so I have to re re <laughs> oh, oh, sorry I have to re, re recapture those, so but it was it was good, it was worth it though, just to have their reactions funny. Um, immature, I know, but I was having a really rough time. Uh, hopefully, that uh, that staff member from the uh, from I showed you one of the buttons. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say which organization she's from, but she's from the school, and uh, technically she's not supposed you're not supposed to solicit. Uh, Solicit your, uh, your 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 class your 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 uh, does the student body that way, but I won't tell if she won't. You know, this is our secret. Uh, I, I lent her some money for electric. For, for she 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 was having a during these dark economic times. Um, during these dark economic times, uh, there's less funding for for, for these programs. Most they get most of their funding from the uh, the school itself and Imperial Oil. But they also get their funding from uh, indigenous supports in the, in, in the community as well. You got a bunch of different funding sources, the like grants that gives them the budget to operate an indigenous theme, the indigenous theme, the events and services for the indigenous students. And it's a study, it's a nice, quiet study space. It's, it's a say, it's, it's a smudge room, this this big chamber of smudge room. And if I can ever get that rich again, I want a chamber like that uh, in my in my house. Uh, smudge chambers. This is also awesome. Uh, it's a quite quiet space for us to meditate and stuff. And many, 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 many students go in. Many students come out, uh, pass through, and graduate. Indigenous, indigenous. So I have a, I, I'm a smorgasbord. I am a Vegas smorgasbord. A buffet, a Chinese buffet of different, different dishes, uh, different flavors of uh, spirituality and. Uh, I mean, my, my persona is, of course, Buddha, a smiling Buddha uh, from my photograph. I'll be posting my photograph up soon uh, as my avatar on this on this channel. Uh, my my philosophy of life now is just to make people happy. Um, you know, I look, you know who I remind me of right now? It remind me of Lonnie Lake, uh, Leonard Lake, a, a serial killer uh, in California. He was he was in his own bunker. Uh, in his own, yeah, he actually was. He he's a war. He's, he's a non war vet, and he met another non war vet or something, uh, Charlie Ying. Uh, and yeah, he was just he was just sitting in sitting in an armchair like this. This is my this is a, this is an office chair. It's supposed to be new, but starting to fall apart again. It's just one year old. They don't make him like they used to. This computer here is uh, it's already acting up. It's already less than a year. Black Friday is coming up on the 21st, I think it was, and this, it's a, this computer's not even a year old. It's got a lot of dust in it right now. So, but like I said, he was he was just he was just reminiscing and, and ruminating on weird shit. Uh, I think he was explaining his Operation Miranda, which was uh, so that's what I kind of remind myself of. Except except, except I'm not, I I'm above ground. I'm in my off my study slash office, um, my my computer room, my brother's older room. Uh, uh, showing all my positive stuff, so I'm the, I'm the opposite of the uh, opposite of that Charlie person. I don't even look like him too. Uh, he has more hair. He has more of a mushroom shaped hair hairdo than I do. I have more of a 
grunt shaped hair, like a marine shaped head now. Speaking of marines, like I said, once they graduate, I'll be joining the forces uh, as a, a Navy reservist, uh, or maybe a military, well, a Navy reservist, and uh, like ships. I want to become a diver, uh, underwater bomb, ex the disposal bomb, because there's lots of World War II bombs that are under there. World War, Korea War, World War II bombs that haven't been uh, haven't been detonated, and they could be a danger. Some fish goes up to them, and then some fishy goes up to them, and then the fishy touches the tra the trigger, and the fishy and the school fish blows up, right? Or the humans blow up, or and the reason is a lot of tex toxic chemicals. So again, ecological, the whole the whole. My imaginary world ecological, and that's what Buddha will do. The whole idea of Buddhism is to make the, the world more. It's an enlightenment game. And to make, you know, it's to, it's to better yourself. And eventually this world this, this world will eventually pass away, and this, this, VR, this VR thing will pass away. Uh, VR experience will be passed uh, passing will be passed away. Uh, so. But in the meantime, but in the meantime, I'm trying to make life as much positive as possible. I could have reincarnated into a total creeper. But I didn't. Kai Yang did. This is where Kai Yang was. He's caught here in California. Well, he's from California. Uh, so I'm trying to teach my brain and my liver. Charlie was caught here in Calgary, and of all places, because his, his, his sister lives up in Edmonton. One of the Vietnamese people who lives up in Edmonton, and uh, Hong Hongi Vietnamesters, so he's up, up in Edmonton, and um, he refused them for obvious reasons. Uh, he's a psycho killer and had to turn himself in. So he lives out here, out, lives out here in Fish Creek Park, after survival, this homeless survivors. And the suburb wasn't totally built up in the 80s, so it was pretty much empty, empty, empty um, nature preserve. Now it's lots of suburbs and stuff around here, especially this place, this house. And um, it was caught downtown bay trying to steal a can of tuna fish. Plus, he had an armed gun on him, so what he could have, what he should have done was just. Stay at the muster seat as a homeless person, uh, appearing to be a uh, disheveled and no ID and everything. And just say that you know I'm I'm an American or I'm I'm from here, but I don't know remember I don't remember where I'm from. That kind of thing. Like pretend he had a few state or something. And maybe he did some bad drugs. Maybe yeah, I did some bad drugs. And I don't remember who I am. Fortunately for humanity, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. They were doing that. He got caught snake turn the fish downtown. And the rest is history. He, caught, he had to um, serve armed robbery here in Canada for several years. And had to be extracted extra to the United States. At the time, Canada had a very, had a policy that if if you were if you're um, a prisoner, um, if you're a prisoner facing execution, you won't get extradited. So sort of like we became we became like the Mexico of the North. Lots of uh, lots of escapees tried to cross the border to Canada, but unlike uh, but as of the Amer the, the the Mexican border, which is the desert of death. Beautiful desert up there. It's just, um, uh, excuse me. We are frozen in the wasteland up there. So, freeze to death or burn to death. You, you choose. Or, or face the music, right? So, but with freezing to death, at least there's some forest and stuff you can live off of. Or, a town, a small town you can go into. But we're going to notice a, cre a creepy looking crazed man come in. 
unless you pretend to be like a homeless person and you're just you're just uh, wandering in and we won't notice. In fact, we'll probably give you a place to stay. You know, I'll try to give you a place to stay and because uh, we're very kind-hearted up here. So that's my weird thoughts. That's the, uh, that's the way that I make my thought process work. So in case you see this stuff on, maybe years from now, maybe a few years from now when you're establishing yourselves and just show, just show, just show your, your students this video. Of this. I'll be like a social worker student. And um, like I said, I, I, I represent a whole different, whole flavored of spirituality and hope to work with you. And if I have money, I'll definitely donate to your uh, White Lotus, White Lotus organization. And um, Because the more, I, I'm technically Catholic, right? But if it's a spiritual thing, if it makes you, if it, if it makes you, know that you're uh, an important being, uh, an intellectual, spiritual being, a, a, a gentle being, then this is then this is the, 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 the I say go ahead and do it. You know, I, I support that. I I support all kinds of diversity up here in Canada. Um, America needs some of these sentiments as well. I have to say that Canadians are better than Americans. That's, it's not. It's not like that. It's, it's, it's that we're all humans. And uh, you're doing a wonderful thing, Stefan. Trying to use your use your time wisely and uh, use it productively. And I hope that there's, there's lots of uh, Buddhist organizations and Buddhists out there who will donate to the, this kind of a service. And I highly suggest, also, if I might uh, add, that uh, there's a addictions or recovery of component to it, uh, uh, because. That's all your meditation that you learned in, in the prison will be very, very useful in helping someone regain and recontrol executive command, executive functioning of their minds, and retake their lives back from the addictions. Uh, and as you can see, my, my addictions is food. Uh, in fact, I'm going to order another Panago right now. I mean, I just saw the Panago, the logo. I got some pop and I got some pop and stuff and. and but that's gonna kind of, yeah, should, should, should come now. Let's 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 put it in our clothes. Uh, I can't. I don't have time to vacuum right now, so I'll vacuum tomorrow morning. Uh, incrementally, one by one. Uh, you, that's the thing about too is everyone wants a clean house right away, but no, take your time. Do the steps one by one, one by one. Keep it manageable. Live a little bit. Uh, live a little bit, and let, let, let the place get really gooey and dirty. Uh, like, this place was a shit shithole uh, a, a few seconds ago, until, or a few moments ago when I before I packed everything away, and uh, let's, just, let's just go dump this into the recycling and compost, and like I said, it's a start. <coughs> We're pioneers, uh, Stefan. You know, you and I are pioneers in this game. Uh, uh, when we turn old, in our 80s, I'm, I'm, I'm all the hard work. Freeing people from addictions, giving them the, the the ability to live in a clean area where they can recover from their wounds. Usually, in this in my case, in my 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 my, my case is going to be a <coughs> it's going to be like HIV wounds or something, or the needles and living out there. Uh, it's going to earn us a lot of good karma. Because uh, karma is just basically it's not it's not it's not it's not, it's not, a, it's not a formulaic uh, currency kind of idea. Uh, technically, karma is just the consequences of your actions, and our actions are good. Our actions are intellectual. So, go. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, uh, you see this stuff on. Uh, I'll show you this crazy video I made. Uh, this is Gogin. I'm studying. Gogin studies too, or something. Gogin goes to school too. Uh, I've done. I, I like I said. I've. Uh, not figured out how to. I, I'm going. I'm making this up as I go. You know, I still have. I still have. Uh, I still want to get a, ma a master's degree. I hope in arts and science, maybe. Try to create a little bit of me, uh, my my particular take on the view, on, uh, and use that to expand the Calgary Cal UFC's uh, uh, awareness. That's what every every time of what a universe is. A uh, university is. It's just. Increasing your ability to, to be aware of things. And, uh, um, this is too small to recycle, though, so let's just throw in the garbage. So, here's how much garbage we made. It just goes up to just that. It's very little. See? Compared to a big bag saved of, of, of 
a big bag of stuff that we recycle, and a huge pile here of compost. So yeah, every little bit counts. Uh, every little bit counts uh, in the long end. So people just recycle and compost, and you know, uh, I'm sure that in the future, you know, as Calgary grows, as Bloomington, Illinois grows, I'm not sure where that is, but I'll have to look it up. I'm assuming it's going to be a Midwest, uh, mid-sized city, like a renter-sized city, or a uh, Spokane size city. Actually, I wouldn't mind living on I would Nick's life, maybe. I wouldn't mind living out in that area. Because I would think so, you know, in America, you can live in Los Angeles, or live in Vancouver, well, if you can live in Vancouver, live in a big city, but I like small cities. My Vietnamese wife, she's, uh, my Vietnamese sister-in-law, she's, she's living in Toronto right now, studying international business, uh, trying to get a, um, get a bunch of prerequisites, uh, to qualify for a MBA here in Canada, and uh, she says she loves the country. It's cold. Uh, she says she loves her country there, so I'm giving her free money uh, so she can study, just so, so she sure to support her, to support her living, her rent, and also part of part of her tuition uh, because she's a female and there's an inequality of. Uh, I'm one for democratic equality, so I donate. I donate to all sorts of institutions, all sorts of supports, and yours is a, yours is a Mister. Or your stuff on to say um institution that works with people's minds to improve people's Americans' minds, Illinoisans Illinoisans minds, uh, and the more the more different different cells, the more different uh, body cells start to work healthily. The, the, the great grander American body starts working healthy. It's just, especially in Canada, the more countries work more more effectively and efficiently, low crime, low consumption. You know, they start recycling more. They start producing more 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 facilities like addiction, uh, disabilities, and all these other all these other enabling kind of uh, uh, supports. The more people are able to impl implement their input, their brains, and their hands, their executive appendages, their their, their tools. To manipulate the, the not manipulate but uh, interact interact with the uh, yeah interact with the uh, with the uh, environment to make it more efficient more cleaner we won't see it now in our lifetimes but we'll but our legacy will continue stuff on and uh, and uh, da 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 like for example this here this here this here is, is a light bulb. Uh, it's not an incandescent light bulb, it's the old-fashioned ones that are that are really gas guzzlers that burn off a lot of energy and has to produce a lot of heat. It's actually very cold. If I touch it after burning, it's very cold. It means it burns very effectively. And that's going to last maybe until, until we're in our 50s, 35 years, 35 year one, whereas uh, the light bulb, I think it's been changed, actually. That's what, that's what, that's one of the things that got me into this. Filming is I start to start to do more environmental environmental stuff like this back in 2015, 2015, and uh, start, start start doing a lot of environmental picking up trash, start recycling trash, especially my bottles. Uh, so I'm gonna be recycling my bottles for for, for charity and also to raise money. Uh, get a huge wad of cash, and every time a huge wad of cash gets big enough, I give it to give it to uh, to to charity or pay off my bills uh, so I can so I can. So I so I, so I don't put poke holes. The more debts I owe, the more money I owe means that uh, there's lots of holes, there's lots of inefficiencies there. So I pay off my debts as quickly as possible, uh, so that the machine works. And but I tend to over donate to people too as well. So well, I'll see. I mean, what I want to get my education. My idea is to get my education going, finish that off, uh, join the join the navy, so I can. Uh, Learn how to un un unplug, get rid of some of those, uh, defuse some of those old bombs, uh, to make the make the make the ocean more cleaner. Uh, because I'm assuming that we can that, that there's still lots of life left for humanity, still uh, lots of lots of lots of evolution, and I'm not sure what 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 form now take. But the more we improve, the more we improve the planet Earth. The more we, it ultimately improves this, the universe, L or maybe it will be a space faring race in about thousand, uh, 500 years ago. Star Trek and like uh, on Star Trek and we move beyond superstition and move beyond the 
science or moved with science, but it became, became some kind of weird ecological philosophy. I don't know what, what form this takes. But in this, in this lifetime, I'm, I'm planning to just improve myself and continue to keep on improving it and keep on expanding my empire, the, the, the imaginary country's empire, the coat of arms. The empire is, you know, it just basically means I learn more, I do more, I make more, 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 uh, I provide more. You know, the expand, and uh, I, I always expand, I always do more. Uh, I, in fact, I'm trying to plan to plan to save money to go down to Louisiana, but I think this is enough now, uh, for now. Introduction letter for you, and my my my, my uh, wiki who goes to school, uh, or Google can go to school, or Wooda Belly. That's my other. That's my three other monkeys on this on, the, on this on this uh, show. Uh, so. Uh, that's it then. Uh, so let's go recycle our stuff, compost our stuff, and continue our assignments, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Thank you. So thank you for watching our show. We're going to be right back with you. And Nam Namo, no, Am Namo Hat Padme Ham, Am Namo Padme Ham, Am Namo Padme Ham, Am Namo Padme Ham. I find that also, when I get to talking a lot, and start to reverberating. I don't know. Somehow the reverberations of my voice. My voice is very weird. It kind of plugs up my nose. It kind of plugs up quickly my ears. Or maybe that's just the smell of the crap I'm just cleaning up. I don't know. Uh, something's getting pluggy, so I'll just uh, shut it off here.